Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I'm going to go through how to create an SVG in Affinity Designer so that way it is ready for Silhouette Studio in Cricut Design Space when you sell these on Etsy or other digital platforms. That way you don't have to play as much customer service. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that keeps you motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. On my YouTube channel, you will find a ton of information that I provide to all of you beautiful people for free so that way you guys can be successful. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. So to start, go ahead and click on your text tool and I have the Hello Wedding font loaded, which I am clearly addicted to. And I am just going to type in America. As you can see, it is very small because I did not change the point size of this. And I am just going to drag this bad boy out and place it in the middle of the screen. Now, I am going to right click on this and click on convert to curve so that way I get rid of the text and it will group it. Okay. And I am going to go ahead and um, ungroup this just so you can see what it would look like if I just left this as is. It would actually cut into the letters. So to make sure that that doesn't happen, we're going to go up to layer and click on create compound. And now you can see that this is all together in one smooth cut. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is create a heart. And to do that, you're going to click on your rectangle tool and you want to ensure that snapping is enabled for this, right? doesn't matter how big you draw this thing because we're going to go ahead and change the dimensions down here. We're going to make this four by 2.5. Okay. Then I am going to duplicate this and then holding down the shift key, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this and then drag it so that the corners meet. Okay. And then go to corner rounded and then corner rounded. And then we're going to change these to 75%. Okay. And then we're going to create another square and I'm just going to go and find where these edges meet and we're just going to drag it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. And there is our heart. So we're going to go ahead and select that and click on layer, create compound. So now that we have our heart, I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees. I'm going to lock our aspect ratio. And I'm going to make this height six inches. See what that looks like. That's pretty good. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is take this American flag SVG that I have populated here and I'm going to copy this and I am going to bring it over to affinity designer. Okay. And I'm going to bring the heart up above this. And I'm going to drag the flag where I think it looks good. Here we go. And then I am just going to duplicate this twice. Duplicate and duplicate. And so the next thing that you're going to do is click on one of the hearts and then click on one of the, uh, one of the other uh, layers of the flag and go to um, intersect. Okay. Then we will click on one of the other hearts and the white portion, and we're going to click on intersect again. And then again for the third one for the blue portion and click on intersect. And we have our American flag heart. So now that we have our heart here, we probably want to take it one step further because you can see that that blue is a solid background. So to create that puzzle piece look that we did in the other video and to ensure that your customers are 100% satisfied, we're going to duplicate the white portion by right clicking and clicking on duplicate. We're going to select the white portion and the blue portion 
and we are going to click on subtract. Now, when I take away the stars, the white portion, you can see that this is all on its own, right? So now that we have that, I'm just going to select all this. I'm going to group it together and then I'm going to select this and I'm going to group it together. I'm going to go to file export SVG and go ahead and click on export. I'm going to save this as test two. I, yes, I am replacing it. And we're going to go ahead and open up this bad boy in silhouette and Cricut. So over on Silhouette Design, or Silhouette Studio, I have our test two here at the top. Go ahead and open that up. And you can see it's very tiny. So I'm going to make the board bigger. And I'm fairly new to Affinity, so I'm going to figure out what the workaround is for that. The nice thing about SVGs is you can resize without losing any quality, so that is a good thing. And then when I click on Send, you can see that everything is going to be beautifully cut out. All right. And if I ungroup it here, and I take this white part away, you can see the transparency on the blue part. So that is like a 4.0 SVG right there. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing in Cricut Design Space. Okay. Click on save and insert images. Okay. Position zero zero. This is humongousaurus. I'm just going to shrink it down. And you can see without me even having to click on make it that everything is separated. So let's click on make it here. I don't have to do anything additional except set myself up for layering. And you're good to go. All right. So that's all there is to it. I hope that y'all got something out of this video. Um, if you did, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below. I'm going to continue making more content for you guys to help you through your passive income journey, uh, designing SVGs and other printables. So if there's something that you do want to see, go ahead and drop a comment below and I can create some content to help you out. Other than that, um, you can go on over to my Facebook group and join up there as I post these videos. Um, you can also click on the notification button and you'll get notified when I create new items. That's all I got for you guys. I'm excited to see where you guys go with this and even more excited to help you guys grow your business and change your life. I'll catch you guys later.